Oh, I accidentally... Oh, that's not even the ability I want to have selected. I've got to say, I find it interesting how the grace mechanic sort of works in a uh, Metroidvania kind of setting. Big empty room? Oh, okay, I was like, oh, maybe boss fight? No, new enemy. That would explain a lot. Fuck you. That did kill you? <laughs> Fuck you. How, how well does the chainsaw work against these? Go away. Okay. It, it, it does work against them, it seems. Because I'm genuinely curious if the programmers view to program this enemy to watch out for this attack, and it doesn't look like they did. Ow. For fuck's sake. I... Just no warning. So I, I suppose I should be suspicious of every one of these background things. There we go, thank you for the HP. Chainsaw, a couple knives. Oh, that just automatically happened. Hi, E3. I thought that was glass. I was surprised you were able to get through that. Guess it's just really green in that room over there. Hey, it's almost like you're following me. You're not gonna get me to buy your shit. I don't have enough for it. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, they're super useful. That's all you told us. I see. I mean, I'd appreciate if I could actually buy something in this situation. Like, you know, I, I know that they don't have an interact with NPC button. So, you know, they just make it so when you walk towards E3 in that one room, it opens the shop DUI. But could it have just opened the shop DUI once, and then, like, once you exit out of it, she flies away? Like, that would have been interesting. That would have been a good workaround to the fact that there's no interact button and they couldn't just have her sitting in this room. Ah, uh, but it's just a nitpick. Otherwise, this game is amazing. Don't know what walls to attack is. You know, oh, that that's one of the walls you need to attack. Okay, I, I could have known that. Item. Thousand daggers. Throw a thousand knives for only 40 mana. I mean, okay, I, I can uh, give it a go. That doesn't look like a thousand. You lied to me, game. Yeah, I'm. I'm just going back to the chainsaw. I like the chainsaw. I, I don't like how unpredictably these guys move. I mean, again, like, they expect you to use the time stop, so sure, but... Still. So wait, this is water.
Okay, they just want to make sure you still know how to use this, I guess. Okay, th this seems like a rather simple setup. Okay, simple enough. Th this honestly feels like a tutorial segment. Why do I need the tutorial this late in? Chainsaw. Wow, that, that didn't do it. Damn, that didn't work. There we go. I love the giant explosion. I might have already said that, but still, I love the giant explosion. It's hilarious. I bet these fairies weren't expecting when they came into work today they'd get a chainsaw thrown at them. Oh, I was not watching my health. I, I genuinely wasn't expecting to die there. Wow. A little bit rude. Yeah, okay, just get out of my way. I don't want to deal with you. I mean, I might as well still collect the item even if I don't want to use it over the chainsaw. I guess I'll collect it even though it's false advertising. Do I even need to, uh, like, go through this whole thing, really? I mean, I have to go under this, but... Don't even need to resume time for that middle one. Oh no. Oh, it jumped over me. I didn't know it could do that. I just do this, like. 14 damage at a time. Accidentally press the chainsaw button first. There we go. Okay, now I'm actually watching my health because I know to be afraid. Got it. What is this, Buster Brothers? to recharge. Well, this is awkward. There we go. That was completely unnecessary, I acknowledge this, but this is a bad idea. I, I don't know what is with this water. This water wouldn't be here if I wasn't expected to use it. <laughs> As you mean, you're sliding a lot more cost efficient than, uh, <laughs> Walking when in time stop mode. You literally call her at every save point. Why are you surprised to hear from her? Hmm, and it's not Marissa. Unless she wants the rematch. Wait, I'm not able to stop. Yeah, I... I can only imagine that means that it won't be enough. Alrighty then. Uh, but Julie, I think I found a glitch in your world simulation thingy.
fancy room place. Oh, hey. Speaking of patchouli. <laughs> I guess. I'm having a lot of fun. I don't know about you. Her usual request. books. Oh, it changes direction when it hits the floor. Good. Uh, I, I tried to thread the needle between some of them, but uh, it wasn't working. Oh, ow. I was trying to get in close for the uh, chainsaw, but, you know, I guess uh, should expect that to work. A lot of different uh, elemental attacks. Good old patchouli's up. And there's even more elemental stuff than just like one for each of the five. <laughs> Ow. Well, you know, I'm I'm learning the attacks. I I'm seeing them all for the first time. I I'm learning. <laughs> yeah, I, I do think it's was really rough trying to tell me that uh, time slow is very useful and I should use it. Oh right, that changes direction when it hits the... No, is it literally just the thing from Cave Story where like, once you get on its like, horizontal level, it just changes direction after you? Ah, uh, I was ready for it this time, but I didn't expect there to be the book that just like, completely, uh, fucked with me. Okay, I'm out of MP, so I'm just gonna use this to throw. Oh. Oh, green! That's clever. Oh, I forgot there was another one there. I'll get this. I'll get this figured out. Oh, I, I thought I deactivated it, but then it, like, activated again? Alright, I, I should be careful of when it ends. There we go. Ow. Right, it changes direction. And I need to experiment to see if it uh, actually works how I think it does. I think I'm getting a feel for when I'm able to throw another chainsaw. Hey, <laughs> the chainsaws do a lot of damage. <laughs> Four books now, so the attacks... I'm guessing the attacks are the same, but even worse. Yeah. There we go. I genuinely don't know if the... I think the time slow is mutually ex exclusive with the uh, time stop, so I don't think it actually... Well, I don't know. It looked like they were going slower. Hang on. I need to check that out next time there's a green attack. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's absolutely either like Cave Story or you could think of it as like the what a thing from Deltarune that like where 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 wire does. Right, they, they move for a second, even before they're allowed to move. I'm not okay with that. 17 health. <laughs> I, I may have gotten cocky because I was like, okay, there, there's very little health. I, I've got this, surely. Clearly not, though. Can you tell I'm having fun with the chainsaw? I love the chainsaw so far. <laughs> I accidentally pressed the time stop button when I wanted to press the uh, other thing. Oh, I, I meant to deactivate the time stop instead of activate it. You know, the classic uh, problem. Yeah, I gotta be a distance away when I throw the uh, chainsaw. Because the green attack is actually kind of scary. Oh, right. I was going to experiment with this. Okay, yeah, it is mutually exclusive. I cannot slow down the green bullet by time slowing before time stopping. It's funny. Lobbing attacks are usually the bane of everyone's existence in a Metroidvania like this, but... I don't know, I, I'm having fun with this one just because it's so useful. Like, oh my god. Alright, I, I was hoping I could toss him in real time. It's actually working for a second there. I press the wrong button. Alright. I swear, but the chainsaws are just my main attack now. I don't want to run out of mana and not be able to use the chainsaws, so I rarely use the knives. Oh, they, they stopped. I was hoping they'd go under me. But because time was back to normal, they, uh, you know, weren't able to move anymore. Okay, I, I need to be careful. I, I forget that that creates like a color, like a big, like almost geyser of like rocks. Like when it hits the ground, it just creates rocks. Also, I think I noticed something at some point during the first attempt. I didn't remember to uh, comment on it. I wish I could at least queue up a time slow while in the time stop, though. That'd be really nice, just being able to, I guess, pressing the time stop button again to make time go back to normal right before it is a good way to do that. That actually goes high enough. I, I'll need to worry about jumping before using it. Ow. Right, there's still green stuff there. There we go. Now it should be gone. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. The boss fights are really interesting. I think they have too many, like, beginner traps. But, I mean, I'm having enough fun learning the way the fights work, so, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I do think it really helps with the chainsaw that, uh, it, like, seems to stick to an en enemy. Ow.
All right, I, I was focusing on the one that was already going sideways, because that one starts going down after a moment. And so when it was going down at the same, like, place as the uh, other one, I was uh, not expecting the one that started horizontal to, uh, or started vertical to start going horizontal. There we go. Oh, no, uh, MP, I can just do this. Hey! Hit it. Yeah, I really like that uh, when someone gets defeated, that they explode. That's a really nice detail, Fatula. I'm glad you added that to the simulated world. I think that's what Gensoku always needed, people exploding. Like, not just like a big, like, flash of light or, you know, what it is, like the inverted colors and whatnot. No, what they really needed is for enemies to explode when you kill them. So they didn't account for the jury. I, so it was like I thought from the beginning. They just like made all the other characters because they're in Gensokyo. It's not like they made Nitri to serve a purpose. She's just here. That's just like how Nitri would act in this situation. Or it was added by Rebellia. Like I, I genuinely don't know what what Julia is responsible for and what Romilia is responsible for, but sure. <laughs> Had a bad feeling. Even though you sort of spilled the beans on, like, this just being for fun, Tosaka, you still gotta have some mysteries, huh? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes, thanks for specifying that you're not going to the place that you're already in. I might have thought that you meant that if you didn't clarify. Well, that was a fun fight. I've got to say, I genuinely love the boss fights in this. It's really fun. Anything gonna happen when I come back this way like last time? Nope, no need three. Guess uh, she figured she tried to sell me enough stuff for a little while. Okay, I'm just gonna. Ow. Teleported into me. I'm just gonna ignore these. Wait, I never found out what this was for. There's no nothing down here? Oh! I, I can't actually get up. Oh, I, I can't double jump when I'm in the water. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. So I wouldn't be able to get up there unless I did what I did the first time around. I thought there would be enemies in there. I thought I was, like, doing the smart approach. It's like, if you notice that it's designed this way, you can skip the enemies or something. I wasn't even really paying attention. Oh yeah, something I noticed, like, during the fight. Yeah, you can stand on the knives you create from the double jump. That's interesting. Okay, there's a... Ah, god damn it. You really gotta put it over there when I've got all these enemies in my way. And they're the kind that can't be stopped. Oh, uh, well, I can't do anything from there. Ow. Item get. Okay. Again, it's like half my health per hit. I think we're at least water attacks. I notice sometimes they do less than that. Okay, so I already would have had to pass through this room again. So, clearly, I'm fine. I'm just gonna grab this and leave. 
There's no point in fighting these guys. 